Hey guys, it's Visual Moss here, and this video is gonna be a little bit different than my usual. Today, I am on my way to the hospital to get an MRI scan and possible lab work done. I also have to get a heart monitor on. This video is actually about the heart monitor, to be honest. Um, I wanted to make a video on my experience basically because this is actually my first time getting a halter monitor on If you guys don't know what a halter monitor is Basically, it is a monitor that goes onto your chest by like a sticker um, There's different types. I think this type is called cardio solo. That's the type that they're putting on me I don't know how long I'm gonna get it for they'll tell me once I get it placed um, I'm thinking I'll probably have it for about a week. Um, I know the or the like um, I know the smallest you can get them for is like 24 hours, I believe, but I don't think I'll only have it for 24 hours, especially since it's my first time having one. Today, right now, which I'm about to be on my way to, is an MRI scan, so I thought that I would probably put that in this video as well because I'm getting that today because I have really bad migraines. I get really bad migraines. So my doctor just wants to see where is my migraines happening? Where is the stem of it? Like I said, this video is different, but um, it's okay. Um, I hope this video does help a lot of people, a lot of other people who watch this video and that is dealing with a heart monitor for the first time as well. Um, Storm is right here in the back of the car, obviously just chilling. She's all geared up. She hates her life. I'm out of breath just from talking and sitting here. It's great. That's why I'm getting a heart monitor. It's lovely. Obviously I have a mask on because of COVID, but little do people know I needed, I was wearing a mask before all of this and I'm gonna have to wear a mask after all of this because of migraines. That's why I have a fancy one that has a filter to filter smells. I honestly, I think I'm gonna feel pretty weird wearing a mask after like everything's over. I mean, I don't know, in my opinion, if it's ever gonna be over, who freaking knows. But if it ever does and people won't have to be required to wear a mask anymore, I'll honestly feel very weird, to be honest with you, wearing a mask. But I was wearing one before all of this and I got the looks, so. I guess I could push through it because either way I have to wear it sometimes. Not all the time like I have to now, so, but. Leave it, come on. Go potty. Go potty. You can take your order whenever you're ready. Um, can I have, oh God, you guys got rid of the quesaritos. Oh no. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I, w I was seeing stuff about it getting rid of and then I was just, oh, I was trying to hold on to them as much as I could. <laughs> I'm so sad, they freaking got rid of the quesaritos. Those things were bomb. bomb. I don't know if you guys ever had the quesaritos, but they were like literally the best freaking things that they ever made. And then I saw on social media that they were getting rid of them and it was the saddest thing ever. Okay guys, so I'm home now. So they got finished with the MRI and it was actually my first ever MRI. 
Um, and I do really quickly want to say that having an MRI done with a service animal, it's very, very important for them to have a very good downstay because it's very dangerous for a service animal or a dog in general to go into the room with you because the magnet in there is very, very strong. I had to take off everything. I had to take off my necklace. I had to take off my nose ring. I had to take off my watch. I had to take, I couldn't bring anything into the room with me. Um, I even had to take off my bra for a service animal to go in there, especially with their gear. It's just unsafe. So Storm had to downstay in a whole separate room because they had a separate room and then they had the MRI room with the machine and everything. So Storm had a downstay underneath the seats in that separate room and then in the other room was the MRI room where the machine was. Um, I will say since it was my first time, it was actually a pretty scary experience um, just because I've never done it before. Any experience that I've never done before is pretty scary to me. I also got lab work done today. That is why I have so many um, gauze or whatever you want to call it. Um, Band-aids, I guess. I have one here, I have one here, and then I have one there. <laughs> It's lovely because they had a hard time getting my veins. Um, they always do. Quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like, where it's at, everything like that. So I'm gonna move my necklace. I'm sorry, I'm like so out of breath. Okay, so this is the heart monitor. It's right here. And it's literally just a sticker on my chest. Um, it's very simple. It's not like a, a regular Holter monitor because regular Holter monitors are like multiple stickers on your chest and wires and stuff. This one's actually pretty simple. It's literally just this. It doesn't have any wires or anything like that. It's pretty nice. Um, it is water resistant. It's not waterproof. So I can actually take a shower with it. I just have to watch with like direct water constantly going on to it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this works. So they went ahead and gave me this paper that came with it. Um, it's basically a little pamphlet. It literally just folds up. But at the top, it just says um, Cardia Solo Patient Diary, and then just ask for patient ID and all that stuff, but obviously it wasn't filled out. Um, and it just says remember, um, just a little side note, and then removal. And then these, I'll go into depth on the back, but I'll show you what those are. And then this is a little remover pad for adhesive tape, and like when I do take it off, if I do take it off myself. And then on the back is more of those things that I said I was gonna talk about. So basically what this is, is this is the diary part. So it says date, time, duration, symptoms, and activity. And then it asks for if the button is pressed. So there is a button. Um, sorry if I'm out of breath, like I'm, I'm literally completely out of breath. Um, so there is a button on the monitor. It's right there. And basically if I'm ever having any symptoms or if my heart rate is high and I'm having a symptom, um, because I can't just press it when my heart rate is genuinely high. I have to press it only if my heart rate is high and I'm having a symptom. I have to press the button and I just press it down for like a few seconds. It doesn't make any noise or anything like that. Um, I don't know if I, you know, I don't know how I'm supposed to know if I press it or not. I just have to like take a guess if I press it or not. It's kind of nerve wracking, but whatever. And hopefully I'll be able to catch a episode on video or at least me being able to log it. Um, so I could show you what that's like if I'm not having one now because I literally can't breathe. <laughs> um, I'm mostly doing this for obviously you guys who um, plan on or know that you're possibly going to have to get a heart monitor and you just don't know what it's like. Um, it's pretty straightforward but I still want to show my experience and what it's like so yeah. Okay so sorry I'm out of breath. I'm I'm trying to catch an episode. I've been standing up for like the past 20 minutes and my heart rate's 140. 140. One. I don't think you can see that. Oh my god, can it focus please? 141. You can kind of see it, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh it lit up. So I'm gonna press the button right there. And right now it's 7.59. So right now I'm going to um, write down the time on here. So I press the button at 7.59. This pen can work. So 
the date. Oh crap, I always forget the freaking date. It's the 26th. So we're gonna put, oh my God. I'm so out of breath. It's 8, 26, 20, whatever. And then the time was seven, I believe I said 56, I think. Quote me if I'm wrong, I'm probably gonna go back and watch this video and be like, oh my God. Also my handwriting, I know it's bad, is because I can't write down. Yes, I pressed the button. Oh my God, I can't circle it. I can't hold down the. Um, right now I'm having chest pain. And I'm having uh, palpitations. And it says duration. So it was just 7.56. I'm sitting down now. Um, I'm going to say activity was standing up. Was standing. Okay, so my heart rate went back down to 95. Um, still not a resting rate, so I guess I'm still not going to count that. Okay, now it's going back down to 87. Because um, now I can finally freaking breathe. Um, oh, now it's going back up to 91. Oh, now it's going back down to 86. Can't freaking make up its mind. Um, oh god falling over but I feel bad because I didn't focus on it but it was at 141 but um, for the duration we can just put we'll just put like n seven minutes yeah we'll just put like mm, it was more like five or six minutes so six minutes which is honestly pretty normal for like some of my um, episodes but there we go that was um there was an episode I already got one on the first day of having the heart monitor pretty great so I was literally just standing for about like 20 minutes because um I was going through the dog's stuff over there so I was literally just standing by that crate and all of a sudden I just like couldn't breathe and I was like gasping for air. So it is now my current third day of having the heart monitor. So I got it on August 26th and it is now August 28th. So it's my third day of having it. Um, and I just want to give like a, a, an update for I guess the third day just because I've, like, I've noticed a few things that I just want to mention. For the first thing, obviously, I've taken a shower. Um, that's why my hair is wet. So it's my first shower of taking since I've had the heart monitor. And I do want to say that it was actually kind of stressful. Um, just because I was really, really nervous and like my anxiety. It also kind of sucks because um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. But if you can notice, um, the thing is actually kind of coming up a little bit. So right here, the sticker or whatever, the tape, whatever it's called, um, is actually coming up a little bit. And it's folding. Um, over here, it looks a lot better on this side. But on this side, it's not doing too well. And it's mostly because when I lay down, my body kind of folds like this. So... Um, I've also kind of want to say that it's been very uncomfortable with trying to sleep. Um, the first night wasn't so bad. I don't know why the first night wasn't so bad, but last night was awful. I could not find a way to get comfortable with it. Um, I was having really bad sensory issues last night. I have like sensory issues with certain like feelings and certain things. Um, I can't explain why or anything like that. The fact that it was just there. It was just bothering me and it's been really itchy and it's been irritating my skin. Um, I don't know if you can see actually, but it's actually making me break out like here and stuff. I don't know if that was there before, but there was actually, yeah, right there. There was a, there's a pimple right there too that I actually ended up having to pop. And then if you can see really closely, maybe feel focused, you can see underneath the taping on the lining, my skin's becoming red and stuff. Um, <clears throat> my skin is becoming irritated underneath it. Some certain, like, positions that I like to lay, I haven't been able to lay because it's there. 
and um, I don't want to mess it up or um, have it fall off or whatever but I've heard some other people who have had it they've had experience of theirs like in the corners um, the sticker coming off or like peeling up a little bit it's just a normal thing that happens um, because it's basically just like a band-aid so and that happens normally with a band-aid too um, but I just get worried. I do want to also say that I've been pretty grateful for this besides the traditional halter monitor that is um, multiple electrodes all over your chest and multiple wires connected to one monitor if you guys have ever seen that which is the traditional halter monitor. Um, so there's that. Obviously this is very very different, um, very smaller and compact and I think that this is a lot more comfortable than if I was to have something else so I do want to explain that but that doesn't mean that it does still have its cons and then I am still describing and explaining the cons as well um nothing's really been going on so I've just been laying around and just chilling I haven't been feeling well so I've just been mostly focused on my health lately I've just been taking every day like at a time also there was lightning I don't know if the camera picked that up but there was just some lightning <laughs> You always look so dumb. <laughs> you always look so dumb. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Alright, uh, quit sniffing the ch Excuse me. Quit sniffing the chair, Dirk. Okay, so obviously I'm in the doctor's office right now, but I want to explain something. So that last clip that you guys just saw was not the one before, but the other clip where you guys saw her like alert. Um, that was her alerting to my high heart rate. I came in here and I sat down and they put a heart pulse on my finger and it was 120 still. Even after they had walked me back here, I they checked my weight and then everything even walking back here, it was still high. So, and I'm even sitting down on a little table thingy whatever so that's great and I'm sure it's still high up yep, it was 164 13 minutes ago so that's great and I still have the monitor on <laughs> lovely and storm literally won't stop staring at me she keeps staring at me but I have her tucked underneath the chair I don't usually have her near me because the doctor usually sometimes has to sit there or has to come examine me so usually when I come to doctor's offices like this um, I'll have her tuck underneath chairs or like tuck underneath away from me so instead of laying next to the bed because the doctor will have to come around me to examine me and stuff like that. I don't want her being in the way like step way and everything like that so yeah I just wanted to explain that but going great it's going good <laughs> okay so now it is like a few days later and since the last clip um i have no more heart monitor on it is completely gone um i'm also wearing a shirt that i chose a shirt that's freaking hard to show but um as you can see my skin actually um is a lot better now i've already taken a shower since i've gotten it off so it cleared up pretty well um but you can see that my skin did break out like while having it i mean i usually do like get chest acne but like it hasn't been a thing for a while so i know that this was from the monitor and it's like it it's oddly like around where the monitor is from but so yeah i mean it's fine the tape wasn't hard to really get off i did use that cloth to get it off but other than that i just took it off myself and just gave it to the hospital and um they're gonna give it to my cardiologist and that's just how it went so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and my experience genuinely for the first time with having a heart monitor <laughs> and um i'll see you guys in the next video later